before I ask my next question, I've, I've written down here, I, I wanted to read out one of the reviews about your podcast that someone wrote on iTunes, so I'm not trying to embarrass you or anything. But um, So this is from a Mary Wise, and she uh, posted the following, so I'm just going to read this out. I recently went self-employed, and um, it can be oh so easy to feel isolated and doubt yourself. Coupled with this, I'm facing my own demons with unhealthy indulgences in alcohol and food to fill the empty space I have, uh, I, I, the empty space I have with too much time on my hands whilst not feeling motivated to do anything about it. Petra unpicks the fears we all have, uh, but maybe uh, don't know how to express. In such a down-to-earth manner, when you listen to her talk, you feel confident that she gets the listener and isn't just talking at you. Um, so, so what I wanted to lead on was, why do you think your listeners subscribe to your show and what are the benefits that a healthcare podcast like yours can bring? So I definitely have like a no bullshit approach. Like I, I try and challenge people to, to do things, to take action in certain ways and, and to show them that they have personal responsibility to, to yeah. put things in place, to develop and move forward. Um, it's also, I'm very real about my own experience. So alcohol addiction is in my story. I'm 11 years sober. I was a parent of young children when uh, I was in the, the worst part of my alcohol addiction. So there was a lot of uh, shame and fear. And so I use my own lessons of what I've experienced and experimented with in order to develop my own mindset to get to where I am. So I guess every conversation is really coming from that place and hearing the listener and uh, you know just having that empathy for their experience while also trying to focus on what we call the messy middle because there's lots of stories of like it was hard and now it's great right and i want to know what what was the messy middle like what what did you do the day after your rock bottom what did you do the, the immediate weeks when you're still you know you want to change but you just don't know where to start and I think the listeners really connect to the practical value of how do I move forward from, from as Mary is saying, this, this place of not, lack of motivation and turning to addiction and all those sorts of things and realize, first of all, that you're not alone. And, and I know for myself, when I was in depression and alcoholism, there's so much shame that isolates us from other people. And one of the first things that can begin to change that trajectory is when we tell our story and connect to people because then we realize we're not alone um, and there are practical steps that we can take to move our lives forward and when you have that backup it just makes it easier to to begin that journey yeah so kind of summarizing i, I guess then what and, and obviously related to the to the presentation i'm giving at can what, what is it about podcasting that makes it so powerful as a storytelling tool first of all it might be the very first step you take in um, trying to change or to learn something. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to engage. You don't have to interact. You can simply put your head, and I did this myself, and there's podcasts that I've listened to that have helped me through the darkest times that were about mindset, about developing myself, about health, mental health, all those things. Put your headphones on, go for a walk, get some movement in, and, and just re-brainwash your brain. That's really what you're doing. Because in this world of noise and technology, if you're not making a conscious effort to fill your, your mind and your soul with things that are meaningful, it's gonna get filled up anyway with, with noise, with notifications, with news, with negativity. And so I feel like podcasting has just been a lifeline in, in taking that first step uh, to, to fill our brain with actually what's, pos what's possible and what's positive in our lives.